Here we have the rear axle of the new Audi S3 with the main part, the torque splitter. The torque splitter, as the name already indicates, gives us the possibility to split the torque fully variable between the rear wheels. In the previous model, we had one disc package that was mounted along the cardan shaft and now we have two multiplay clutches and this gives us the possibility to split the torque. We get the power delivered from the engine through the cardan shaft and from the cardan shaft to the bevel gear, from the bevel gear on the crown ring. And then we have two multiplay clutches, one on each side of the drive shaft. We have here in the car now our new drivetrain with the new engine, the seven-speed S-Tronic and the torque splitter on the rear. We get some information of all these parts of the car that is delivered from their control units. So we need the transmission control unit, we have the engine control unit, we have the information of the wheel speed sensors, of the steering angle and of the ESC. All these information are provided to the actuators of the torque splitter. On each side of this drive shaft, we have an actuator that is opening and closing this clutch package within milliseconds. These two actuators are linked together by a private LAN and each clutch knows exactly what the other is doing. We can use it for agilization and for stabilization of the car. For example, if I want to go very dynamic, then we send more torque to the outside wheel that is leading the car into the curve. When we go now to a left-hand bend, we close the right clutch and the torque is distributed to the outside wheel, to the right wheel. If we want to go to a right-hand bend, we send the torque to the left side of the car and leading the car into the curve again. On the other hand, if the car seems to break out for some low friction, we can speed up the inside wheel and get the car stable again without braking. The characteristic of the torque splitter depends on the chosen drive select mode. Here we have a comparison from the comfort mode on the one side and the new dynamic plus mode on the other side. On the comfort mode we have a balanced distribution of the torque between the rear wheels and on the dynamic plus mode we have the distribution mainly on the outside wheel. So this gives us dynamic cornering with less steering angle and tendentially oversteer. This is another big advantage of this new rear axle, the torque splitter.